This program contains coarse language, mature themes, and the strong opinions of Dan Savage. Viewer discretion is advised. There's never been an openly gay male athlete in the NFL, MLB, NBA, or NHL. There are men who came out as gay after their careers were over. Pro basketball player John Amici, pro baseball player Billy Bean, pro football player Ezra Tuolo. All three came out after they retired. David Copé was the first pro athlete to come out after retiring from the NFL in 1975, almost 40 years ago. I knew how hard it would be, but it was like, this is my life, I've got to live my own life, I've got to stand up and be the man that I think I could be. The total number of men playing in the NFL, MLB, NBA, and NHL combined is roughly 4,000 pro athletes. Given that LGBT people comprise somewhere between 3 and 10% of the population, there have been gay pros in the past. We already have an out female pro. Megan Rapino of WPS, the Women's Professional Soccer League, is an out lesbian. Robbie Rogers, a pro soccer player, came out as gay and retired from Major League Soccer on the same day. But when will a player in one of the big four leagues come out before retiring? Everyone is predicting that it'll happen soon and trying to figure out what the reaction will be once it does happen. Chris Cluey, a punter for the Minnesota Vikings and a graduate of UCLA with a degree in political science, is one of pro sports' most vocal advocates for equality. Super Bowl champ Brendan Ian Videjo recently wrote an op-ed for the USA Today stressing the importance of speaking out as an ally. He wrote, Professional athletes have the ability to fundamentally eliminate prejudice from our sport and live up to the incredible privilege we enjoy. Whether you're a commissioner, an athlete, a coach, or a fan, your voice will let every kid out there know that there is a place for him or her in sports. I'm Scott Fujita and I support marriage equality. Brendan and Chris lead a growing number of straight pro athletes who support equality, speak out against homophobia, and support the idea, the concept of openly gay pro athletes. We speak for the entire Oakland Athletics organization when we say that there is no place in our society for hatred and bullying against anyone. And even Kobe Bryant, who was once fined for calling a ref a faggot, recently used Twitter to chastise a troll who used your gay as an insult. Institutionalized homophobia and ignorance aren't easy to wipe away, especially in sports fields and locker rooms, but people are trying. National Hockey League talent scout Patrick Burke started an organization called the You Can Play Project with the goal of eradicating this ignorance. All we're asking is treat your teammates with respect. And once we do that, I think we're going to find that locker rooms are safer for gay athletes. Um, gay athletes are more willing to come out and be open about their sexual orientation or gender identity in the case of trans athletes and we're gonna get better sports because of it. Visit youcanplayproject.org to see how gay and straight athletes are working together to combat homophobia in college and pro sports. Send me your questions, your comments, your videos, and please make sure to subscribe to Take Part TV so you'll get all my new episodes delivered right to your inbox. Religious traditions and how they've warped us sexually for thousands and thousands and thousands of years, people can't seem to reconcile themselves to the fact that sex is for pleasure almost